before we go any further, can we just ask for a like and a subscribe, please? Oh, because yeah, we always forget to do we that, need to really. push things forward. Let's push things forward. The channel needs to grow. Please like, please subscribe, and uh, here we go. It's really bony, bony, really bony. Really bony, bony, really bony, bony, bony. We have a sister soon, haven't we? Dilly. Dilly. Dilly Dally. Dilly and Nora. Dreaming Jaguars. The return of the big hoo ha. <laughs> yes. Hoo ha. People have been missing you, mate. Oh, no. He's been but... asking for you. Yeah. They've been pining for you. Pining for Where is he? Through. Where is he, old hoo ha? So. We have been waiting to do a little video on. Um, what's his name, bruv? Probably well, we didn't look it up, did we? No, no. Um, DMT lasers. Is that him? No. Danny, Danny Gola, Danny DMT Gola. scientist. Right. A DMT scientist. He's a DMT scientist. Is that what we call ourselves so, now? So we've been waiting to do a video. So. 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 Filler. Filler. Filler verbal. Filler verb. You're not allowed to say so. We've been waiting to do a video on um, Dan Gola, who has got his own channel. I will put a link in the description. And he professes to have uncovered a, uh, an anomaly, let's say, within the DMT space. An anomaly. An anomaly. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the word, is it? An anomaly. It is an anomaly, isn't it? Well, that's something... Oh, no. It's an anomaly, mate, isn't it? OK. I would anomaly. have said something like a pattern or a reoccurrence. It's, it's some... All right. It's, it's, rich, something that he's, it's something that you can't... It's something that he's identified that, yeah. you, that is not verified, that is out of the norm. OK. So I would call that an anomaly. All you? right, fair enough. So I'm going to, I'm going to describe it what he's found mm. if, if, if the people haven't seen it and like i said we'll put a link in the description and you can comment on your thoughts on it first like i usually do yeah okay. so what has been uncovered is um a pattern of code in a laser beam, a specific type of laser beam, which I think by all accounts anyone can buy. Again, I'll put a link in the description. And I think with a little uh, YouTube tutorial, it's very easy to wire up because you have to buy the laser as a, uh, a separate little piece and then you have to wire it up. But it's quite an easy thing to do. So you get this laser, specific type of laser fires like a crosshair on the wall and it's a specific frequency i believe and when you put a diffraction lens over the laser beam which spreads the light and you smoke dmt to a level that you have not uh, broken through that you are kind of compass is that when you look at this laser beam, there is code in the laser beam on the whatever surface you're on, right? But what he says is that if you move around, if you move the laser beam like you moved a torchlight in the darkness and you came across a chest of drawers and then a bed and then a sink, with this specific code, you have this specific piece of code here you move the laser beam over and you can see this specific piece of code and then this specific piece of code and when you go back to it the same piece of code is there right and that it's basically or his hypothesis is that it is like the code the matrix code like the code of reality or some kind of code um now the f interesting thing about it is that he has tested this i believe and again i'll put the actual facts in the description about 170 times with different people who have all 
identified the same patterns and um, described the same intricacies and the same pe and more than one person in the room at the same time or multiple people are looking at the same thing and seeing the same thing the s exactly the same thing right yes that's the hypothesis that's so the story it, so far that's the story so far does this does dmt gate access to be a being able to view some kind of reality code do you become neo do you become neo yeah. if you take dmt and look at furniture with a laser on it yeah that's pretty much it yeah Mm. But he's but Neo's code was ones and zeros, wasn't it, in the Matrix? So it's not quite like zeros, that. I remember no. the guy said it's like Japanese writing. Yeah, it looks like Japanese characters. Characters. But they're rotating. And they rotate in a specific way. Yeah. And they're and it's barreled. And they rotate in lines of barreled code. Which would make sense because that isn't that how Chinese would I'm guessing it is, yeah. That's how that writing so maybe goes, it's it? some kind of Eastern esoteric connotation. So what it. is it then? So light is Fact information, no. isn't it? Light is information, yeah. But right. also, hang on, one more one thing he did say about it is he said it's not. So it sometimes some people see it instantly. Yes, that's right. Other people have to learn to see it mm. a bit like, and I don't know how old many of our viewers are. Probably an older crowd, if you remember, in I think the nineties. There used to be uh, these books that you could buy called the Magic Book, and you would have a draw, like <coughs> just a random <coughs> patterns Excuse in this me. book, and then when you stared at it in a specific way, a 3D image would have, would That's emulate right. from the. It was pattern. almost holographic, wasn't it? Holographic, yeah. But you couldn't see it until, but you had to stare, and it was quite difficult, wasn't it? It was. You had to kind of almost blur your eyes a little bit, <coughs> and then all of a sudden it would just jump out, and then once you'd seen it. You can't not see it. And this is what he's saying about this code. Once people can see it, <coughs> they can't not see it every time they look at it. Mm. Yeah? Wasn't the smoke that fair, was it? No. No. Right. So what, so what is it? What are we doing here? What, what are we seeing? Well, what are we seeing? If light is information, yeah. DMT adapts your visual or even not even doesn't change anything in your eyes but it definitely adapts something in your brain yeah and then that like we've said before opens up some other well so is it is your so your visual part of your brain is then able to because without the laser you're not going to see anything right no, you were going to just see the but DMT. But if I shone it, hit, if, I, if, I, if we were on DMT and I shone it at that tree now, yeah, you'd see the green laser on there. Yeah. But then what's happening is, is wherever that goes, you then see these characters. Yeah. And are they formate formalising the tree shape? Well, I don't a know. But like what he map. says is, if you move that laser along the tree and go back to that point, the, the character that you were going to that was there is still there, and the character up there is still there. And this has been verified 170 times. Which is exactly like the Matrix. So he's and he's gone to Chris Timmerman with this information and trying to get Imperial to do some kind of experiment with well, it's it. Worth it's quite searching, a bulk, isn't it's it? worth having a go, isn't it? One hundred percent. So what I think what also he's what, what no, what does that mean first? Well, does it mean is, that, is, do I, is that tree actually a code right now? That's what I'm that's what I was going to allude to. Right. Before you rudely interrupted well, me. Well, I had to. You'll probably cut that out and make it sound like you're really clever and I'm dumb. No. <laughs> so, what he is, his, what he, he makes a valid point, right? Does the rearrangement of your brain chemistry with DMT as the key to unlocking specific neurotransmitters, etc., does it give your mind's eye or does it does it does it give you a sense of vision in a different way that is not known by science i.e. Your, your eye light through your eye into your visual cortex 
Dr. Gallimore, obviously, if he watches this, might just go, you pair of monkeys. Possibly, but he probably don't watch us anymore. Right. So, so what he's saying is it does it give your brain the ability to v- visualise reality in a different way, right? Well, that's what we've argued this question a million times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DMT definitely does retune your <laughs> frequency of your yeah. brain or whatever. Yeah. So that's what we've believed, whether that's true or not. But the fact that you can put light on the object and it will it's always the same code it's always the same <coughs> code yeah that's the trippy that's the twisted bit isn't it mm. it is always the same characters so is so what but then you know listen right i guess we know and this is back to gallimore that his interpretation of reality is that we are a tiny what our 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 slice of reality is but an infinitesimally small slice of a much larger piece or a much right. larger system, right? Yeah. So, so are you just getting access to parts of that larger system through taking DMT? Yeah. So it's a bit like the old two D world flatland thing, isn't it? Three D, three D land, looking at two D land. Yeah. You know, and you'd put a ball into 2D land, they just see a point that grows into a circle, gets bigger, and yeah. then as you retract it, it goes out. Maybe we are able to, We're in through a DMT... We're three-dimensional, and then it goes into four-dimensional. Yeah, you're starting, to, you're starting to pick up on the four-dimensional aspect, or the fourth dimension. Or right? the other thing is, we are living in a simulation, and it is all code, and that's what that light... that specific frequency of light opens up that you can see that code but you but it would have to imagine be. if you if that's the case and then you start doing it people start doing it and then they research it then they crack the code yeah well this is the whole this is what he's saying this is what he's saying is that can you learn from that like can we can we find that as a new not like a new maths like a like, not like maths yeah. you've got science maths yeah. english yeah Code, DMT code. DMT code, right? Does that yeah. then unlock further fucking secrets of the universe? Of the universe, yeah. Or our reality? Wow, that's <coughs> deep, isn't it? Or our reality? So it's quite cool. Mm, imagine and, going to university and studying that. Yeah, DMT <laughs> code. Just getting off your nut all the time. Yeah. So well, I no, think it's quite... the other thing I didn't realise. I thought it was kind of like from a breakthrough. But what you're saying is you could literally get one of them DMT. Pens. That's what he's saying. You can't, you can't break through it. You, you don't. If you, you break through, you fuck up. You've, yeah. Well, you've, you've, you, you've you are the code. You become mm. the code, right? Ah. So you've got oh, to, you've got well, to it? have a, a dose that is enough for you to stay coherent, so that I can talk to you, you can talk to me, and you can say, "Can you see it, Paul?" Yeah. And I'll say, "Yeah." And you say, "Well, what are you looking at?" And I say, "Well, I can see this." And then I'm going to try and draw it, and you're going to try and draw it, and then we're going to put our drawings together. That would be good. Yeah, Maybe so it's kind of almost like testable. These are becoming like testable things mm. that you could actually, everyone could do in their living room. Yeah. Not that we're advocating the use of it, obviously, because it's illegal in every country. But, mm. you know, should you know someone that wants to try that, then please advise them to do so. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but so, we're not saying do it because that would be breaking the law and that wouldn't be right. No, it wouldn't. But it's very interesting, isn't it? This whole it's more than interesting it's quite an exciting time if you think about it and if that actually if Timman does start researching it in that mm. way well they just have a go at it and it works <coughs> and they're like yeah. hang on a minute let's set this up at Imperial we've College we've all been chasing the entities and we've missed this one <coughs> yeah exactly exactly mm. I, see, I think I think this whole this whole um, mate, you know what does the next what does the next decade hold like what does it? What's what? And then, and then and then and then you've got you know, you add in machine learning into that, mm. into that ability to work out patterns in those. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you throw it. You throw machine <coughs> learning into what if the mix. Musk does actually connect us up to AI. And then you do DMT. And then you do DMT. Oh, I wonder what that, that would be like. Jesus wept. I mean, just literally mind. Popping, isn't it? Mm. 
So that's very, very interesting stuff. So I would, you know, I think we've said enough about it, right? Yeah, go and have a watch. Go and have a watch. Um, make your own assumptions. Add into the comments what you think is going on there and whether or not it's worth further investigation. And... Uh, and comment. And comment on it, yeah. Do some commenting. Yeah, let's find out. Let's see what you look like, got to say. All oh, right, nice. Do people like the UAPs? They do, yeah. They do like it. Mm. So there's a, it's a 50-50 bag. Mm. It's definitely a 50-50, mate. I've got some interesting thoughts coming on that. But All right, okay. We'll I save that for the next video. Yeah, yeah, I haven't quite got my head around it. Okay. I've been filling my head on my journeys to work every day with mm. UAP shit. And then the next video we will shoot will be Justin's thoughts on the UAP, UAP situation. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again in the next one, yeah? Yeah. All we right. We'll ourselves together again and do it. It's later. Bye. Oh, everything will turn out.